guys ready to make the magic happen? All right, boys, let's do this. Agua Sampha, Agua Sampha, showtime. Hey, Flash, give me a go, no go for launch. In the pipe, five by five. Word. Gotta go talk to the big guy. Hey, little man, what's up? Ooh, any dance? That's why you're a pro, baby. P, sit rep. We're in the green. Deck is cued. First break in six minutes. We are go in five, four, three, two. Episode seven. Cue the title, please. Oh, nice. Happiness. It's beautiful. Everybody's happy. Everybody's asleep. Yang and Blake cuddled up. Up, oh, at least I thought. Yang on her Goku shit. Ruby. Uh, damn. I'm late! I'm late! I'm late! Boom, bitch! What was that? I overslept. I never oversleep yesterday. Oh, all the excitement. Get your head together. You can fix it. You always fix it. Sean! Look, I can't wait. I'm late. Any second, there's going to be another... Right on time. Get to town. I'll meet you there. Bro, what is going on? I'm never this upset when I oversleep. Uh, what did he mean, right on time? I'm sure we'll find out when we get down there. Ruby, where's your weapon? Oh, sorry. Uh, still waking up. Uh, hurry! People are counting on us. Whoa. Literally a paper town. Who makes a town out of paper? Hello. <laughs> okay. Welcome to our village. We hope that it pleases you. Would you be so kind as to tell us what you are so that we may serve you? Serve us? Your town is on fire. Oh, no. We are quite safe. We have our hero. Yeah! Back up! There's water everywhere! You'll dissolve! Hello, water! How may I serve you? What? Stop that. Uh, Is it weird they're kind of cute? Almost happened. It's been ages since I missed the first fire. Do fires happen often? Oh, every day. What? Oh, uh, right. I guess, uh, introductions. These are the paper pleasers. They're probably the most polite, most hospitable. Afterns around. Okay. Because that's their purpose. <laughs> when Alex left me to die, Juniper found help. Brought me to the paper pleasers, who got me back on my feet. They work all day. Not just serving travelers, but serving the land they live on, too. They beautify it. Make it a place of peace. Unfortunately, they're a bit clumsy, but that also makes them predictable. <laughs> I told you to hold these. Thank you, Brave Knight. <laughs> Classic Ren. You named them after your teammates? No, I named them after everybody. <laughs> Hello, I am the one called Ruby. What if you hate that? Okay, the disastrous lighting of the Morning Lantern is dealt with. That gives us just enough time to strategize before Bro. the calming Pebble Tower crumbles, crushing the Koi Pond Dam, the and fuck? flooding okay. the entire village. I'm not gonna lie to you, there was a small part of me thinking that the little red uh, star paper person, I thought that he was gonna say her name was Pira. But, luckily he didn't say that, you know. Still dealing with Vietnam flashbacks after that. So I'm thinking, quick brunch? I could eat. Right. <sighs> My life's work. Over the years, Juniper and I have been systematically exploring as many of the nearby acres as possible. If you think you've seen it all here, let me tell you, 
You have it. I was to say, what you exactly paper? have you been looking for? Anyone or anything that might be able to take us back home. Okay, and what have you found? Uh, so far, I mean, not much, but I've got a really, really good feeling about this one acre we saw with a bunch of pyramids. Sorry, um, I'm just trying to make sure I follow. Do you have any leads at all? Any other plans? This is the plan. Look, I I'm sorry I didn't solve all our problems by myself, but I, I can't just run off and let them die. But between protecting the village, searching for you guys, and searching for an exit, we've got a really tight schedule to keep. Or rather, you've got a tight schedule to keep. I beg your pardon? This is the schedule of catastrophes that befall the village every day. Right? Oh my god. As they god. would if it wasn't for me and June. With this, you guys can save the day no problem, which means I can go out to keep searching without any interruptions. With Juniper's speed and my familiarity with this place, we'll find our solution in no time. Guys, this is it. Look, if there's one thing I've learned after all these years, <laughs> it's that patience pays off. It's why we're finally back together. I know I can find us a way out, okay? I, I know it. I know it! And everything is weird. This isn't again. crazy. I'm not crazy. <clears throat> this isn't crazy. It's easy. You know, we still got time before the Pebble Tower falls. How about I uh, saddle up Juniper and show you around myself? Point out some of the clumsier papers. <laughs> Just wait till you guys meet Neptune. God, look at Damn Ruby, it, bro. John. This isn't a plan. It's a to-do list. He's obviously been through a lot. Yeah. We can be frustrated later. Right now, Jean needs us. And we still need him. We just can't count on him. Then who does that leave us with? It's obvious we need someone to guide us, or we could end up thrown back in time, or killed by the tree, or worse. Well, if that's how everybody- The great tree does not kill. That is what we keep trying to tell him. But our hero still insists that we never ascend. What? I do not wish to be rude, but our work has been completed for quite some time. Because of us, the land is beautiful, but we have realized that, like ourselves, it is also very delicate. We would like to make something that is pleasing, but also resilient. Because of this, we are ready to leave ourselves and merge with the tree, so that it might return us as something new. But... Our hero is displeased by this course of action. We tried reaching out to the tree, but our hero forbade it. Then, the wisest of our village suggested breaking from our physical forms so that the winds may carry us back to the tree. But our hero is clever and brave, always keeping us from harm. You must understand, the tree does not kill, it resurrects and rebuilds. We do not wish to displease our hero, and I hope I have not displeased you, but we so desperately wish to return to the tree, to return home, so that we may carry on with our work. Return home, huh? Oh, do not be sad. The wisest are going to topple the Pebble Tower today. I am sure it will work this time. What makes you so sure? Nothing. That's so sad. Weird, but sad. But it also means Jean might not be totally right about the tree. It's not death, it's rebirth. From a certain perspective, maybe. But what happened to Louis then? Jean said Jean wasn't there. The cat wasn't even there. None of us know the full story and we'll never learn anything babysitting these villagers. We have to convince Jean to let him go. But how? He's clearly not all there. So I'm assuming Jean heard all of that. Number one. Number two, I feel like it all kind of ties in that Lewis is the one that is writing the story. Or not writing the story. Lewis is the one that ended up getting back to Remnant and is writing the story from his perspective. No, no, no. I originally said that Alex was the one that got out 
and Lewis has sacrificed himself, but because of all the tra- like trauma and traumatic events that she dealt with, like seeing her mother die and everything, she wrote the story and kind of suppressed everything and wrote it from a different perspective. That's what I had said. So I don't know. Maybe now it's it's kind of all switched around to where Lewis is the one that wrote the story and Alex is the one that maybe she's the Jabba Walker. Or maybe Lewis maybe Lewis is the Jabba Walker. I, I really don't know. This is a fucking lot. I hate, I hate theories and having to think because it's like, bro, what the fuck, bro? Let, let's, let's see. Yep, I know. He, is that what you think? That, yeah, he was there. <laughs> but what if the cow is telling the truth? Maybe not about everything, but about the tree. The tree's the last thing you should listen to them about. They're just doing what they're designed to do. They don't care what happens when you get there. We're not listening to them. We're listening to the Afterins. And they're telling us that the tree is nothing to be afraid of. That they want to go. They don't know what they want. You've seen the way they act. Nothing here is that straightforward, okay? Afterins are all either too clever, too stupid, or too crazy to trust. Oh, wow. Then why do you care so much about this village? Because I can actually protect these people! Jean, bro. Oh, no. Oh, no! I am not letting them down. If those walkers make it down here, those afterins will never ascend. Then we won't run this time. From the market but that's those were more than just her usual tricks oh they fuck my head hurts and grow and how has she gotten so powerful well she didn't do it by standing around i know you may not care about protecting this village but you could at least help your friends when they're in danger <gasps> ruby are you okay 
don't know. What time is it? No! No! Oh, Sean. I couldn't save them. I was supposed to save them. No, again. hold on, bro, because I'm about to cry, dude. Every no, time. this is this is fucked up. Chill. Ch why no, can I? John. Oh, sh fuck. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Because I feel like Ruby's about to snap, bro. And with Jean... Oh, no. Dude, with Jean, it's like... <laughs> hold on, bro. Let's just, let's just see what happens. They're gone, but they're not dead. They'll be back. Yeah, it's what they wanted. Right, Ruby? Why are you asking me? Um, oh, fuck. Here we, we go. Just, because I'm the leader? Here we go. Because I'm just supposed to have something to say? Because I don't. I mean, why do I have to be the leader anyway? Why do I have to always be the one to pick people up? What about me? No time, right? Gotta get home. Gotta help Jean. Gotta find someone who isn't just going to screw everything up. Gotta stay positive, right? Smiles all around. Maybe even finally get our feelings sorted out. Good for you, by the way. We're all so happy for you. Hey, I'm sorry. Is this a bad time? Are we supposed to be mourning Jean's make-believe friends? They're gone because of you. The walkers came for you because Neo hates you. Oh, and let's not forget the reason we're in the Ever After in the first place is because of your plan that didn't work. What about you? It's all about you. Jean. I'm sorry, I... I know I'm not okay, I'm, I'm not right, but how am I supposed to be? I've been alone for so long here on that bridge i was the only one that could do it i was the only one and i and now i have to live with that forever in here or back home guys i know things are bad but shut up don't do that. Just don't. Shouted everyone like that. I just pressed the 10 second thing back. I, there is something I do want to say though. When Ruby was um, letting her emotions out, one thing that kind of bothered me <clears throat> that read me the wrong way was how Yang had shielded Blake. That kind of read me the wrong way. As if her words were going to. Like, 
as a as an older sibling, <laughs> like I don't know, it's just seeing that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Because it's like my little sister is having a breakdown. If anything, of course I want to try to comfort her or anything, but to kind of, I'm I'm uh, no, I don't I don't even know how to describe it. I don't even know how to put words into play because it's like that's kind of that's kind of selfish you know it's I don't know it's just remember the wrong way and then for Jean oh my god Ruby and Jean I feel like are the only two people that have the right to really feel a way with everything that's happened and I'm not saying that everyone on that team hasn't had any hardships or anything that's like really fucked them up but Ruby and Jean are the only two that really have any right to feel how they're feeling right now it's this is a lot Ruby Ruby What are you doing? Why did you shout at everyone like that? What if little was Alex? Where am I? It's okay. I can guide us back. You shouldn't run off, though. You all need to stick together if you want to go home. Why are you still here? Uh, what? I promised. I promised to serve Atlas as a huntress. That I'd keep people safe. That I'd be there for my friends. But we can go back and- No! Oh. You don't know what I've done. What I couldn't do. Ruby, come on. I can't Ruby. do this. I could never do this. If you stay with me, you're going to end up dead too. Just go home. You're... But you're... I said go! Oh, my... This is, this is something that's gonna bop, piss me off. I don't wanna say piss me off, but it's like, why, you don't have to push people away, bro. But I get how you... Uh... This is a lot. This is a lot, this is a lot, this is a lot, this is a lot. I feel like she's gonna run into the, uh, the blacksmith for some reason. It's just giving me that vibe. What the fuck? What is this? Hello, Red. <gasps> Been a while. How's the hero biz treating you? I gotta say, you're not looking too good. Oh. Where's Neo? Oh, no. Yeesh, no manners. And after everyone came out to see you. Oh, no. Salutations, oh, no. Ruby. Hello again. Ms. Rose. Why don't you take a seat? Oh, fuck. Oh, How my is God. She doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't real. You're the one following a talking cat around a fairy tale. <laughs> Bro, my fucking now head is hurting. Fuzzier by the minute, kid. You know, once Neo realized where she was, everything changed. Always loved the idea of a place Wait, to run away hold from. Wait, hold on, hold on. Was the do whatever you want. Were the pe holy shit? 
So the people that were behind Neo with them? Oh, I'm fucked. Oh, my head hurts, bro. Uh, it's it's literally right here. It's like throbbing. I swear to God, bro. It really. Okay. All right. All right. Hold on, bro. We got 10 minutes. I offered that to her back on Remnant. Clover. But we all remember how that ended. Is that seriously what this is all about? Ow. You still blame me for what happened to Torchwick? <sighs> if you're looking for an apology, you've wasted your time. And then we got they little, say little... everyone thinks they're the hero of their own story. But I knew what I was. And deep down, I think you know what you are, too. <laughs> the leaves from the tree? Oh, you're familiar. How about a little reset? Is that what you want? Well, if you want me dead, then come get me. <laughs> you don't deserve to die, Red. You deserve to be broken down. Torn apart. Wiped from existence. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy watching you break. Ruby! Ruby! What the fuck? Ruby? Damn it. How could she just run off like that? She was clearly upset. That wasn't upset. That was... Ugh. She could have just talked to us. Maybe she didn't feel like she could. That's what I'm saying, Yang. Come on, you're, you're doing Ruby this shit again. Ruby has always been the one to get us through the hard times. We say things like, we believe in you. We can count on you. I know we mean well, but... It's not like we are asking her to be perfect. Huh? Huh? Oh! oh. I was the best and brightest beacon had to offer. But I traded my life so that my friends could live. I hope John doesn't see this. Just like you were too late to say. Don't me. fucking do this! Oh my god, my fi uh hold on, hold on. Died in Atlas stop, too. stop, 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 bro. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking <laughs> I need a break. I'm gonna fucking blow a gas. Can you imagine what that's like? To be completely and utterly failed time and again by someone who meant the world to you. Are you ready for that drink yet? How many more people are going to die because of you? I'm trying to save everyone. And yet, with all your best intentions, have you ever stopped to wonder if you've done more harm than good? It's not my fault. How many more lives do you have to ruin before you realize you're not cut out to save anyone? No! Ruby. Watch more of your friends fall. Please stop. Or are you ready to admit the truth? That the world would just be better off without you.
That was the cat. That was the cat! It's all right, Ruby. It's over now. I... I'm sorry. I don't want to be me anymore. <laughs> it's okay, <laughs> little Huntress. Hold on, no, no. I can be you instead. <laughs> I have been trying to wear you down for so long. <laughs> what are you what doing? the fuck? <gasps> My purpose. When a poor little heart is broken, I can fill it with mine. I'm afraid I haven't been entirely honest with you, Ruby. No. I'm not like the other Ghost, you were right! I'm cursed with curiosity. I need to know everything, but more than anything, I need to know why my makers left me here. Only to leave and make all of you. Not little! It's about time we all got what we deserve. Nah, bro. Nah, son. Nah, son. Are you ready to nah, admit the bro. truth? Not little, bro. That the world would just be better off without you. What the fuck? than ever now. We could take over this whole absurd place. Uh, why not? Offing Little Red can't be all you wanted. Right? No, 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 no! I needed her! It's a place you know. But no matter. I've actually found a much better solution to my problem. Am I tired of your little sob story? You can't even accept your own futility. This body will do. 